Hey, I am with Jerry. Hey, Jerry. What's going on? So, uh, what brought you in to Heart and Soul? I mean, really, it came down to, like, I was online looking for some place for Ozone, and this, you know, hit the spot. And I, I was diagnosed with ALS back, shoot, I guess it was like six months ago, and uh, I wanted to pursue the ozone and then I came in and actually went and you know did testing for Lyme and things like that and uh, have just slowly improved over the last I guess January 4th was my first day here and here it is what May 15th something like that and uh, everything has just slowly gotten better. It's okay. been awesome. What, when you say gotten better what do you what have you noticed that's gotten better for you? Number one, I was starting to slur. Uh, my voice was very weak. I, I coached little uh, eight-year-old soccer, and you know I'm trying to yell out instructions, and I couldn't do it anymore. And this last spring, we had a season, and bam, I'm I'm all over them. And I mean, even my my youngest kid, he's just like, Dad, I thought you couldn't yell at me anymore, you know. And I'm like, Oh, sorry, sorry, I've gotten better, but. Uh, that's uh, probably number one constriction like everything was super tight um, and I mean I'm so much looser uh, energy level has improved greatly I could hardly walk like I I, I I I used to run two and a half miles at least once a week and I got to where I couldn't even walk a mile without just being dead tired exhausted and now I'm back to two and a half miles. Sometimes I'll do it twice a week now. Uh, energy level has greatly improved. <sighs> There's just little things. I, I used to struggle so much opening a pill bottle. And now it's it's simple. Okay. Um, little things like that have improved. All right. So like, so on your journey, uh, ALS journey. So like, number one, you, like, you didn't get the COVID vaccine. No. Okay. Uh, did you ever, do you know if you ever had COVID or anything? Uh, Pretty sure I had COVID. Uh, the most interesting, I guess, part about it is the sickest I ever got was November of 2019. And I went to the doctor twice. I don't go to the doctor unless I have to. I went to the doctor twice. I couldn't figure out what's wrong with me. I, I cannot exactly line it up. Like I pulled the tick off of my head, uh, and I, I looked at it and I was just like, man, I wonder if I'm supposed to do something. And I was like, oh, screw it. Let's find out, you know. In and that 2019 experience, when you got sick, that's when yeah, you found I, the tick? I remember it was right when we got cats. But we've gotten cats three different times. And I don't remember which of those three times it was. But I'm pretty sure now. So I thought, oh, you know, once time went through, a COVID thing happened in, in you know, February 2020. And then I started thinking back, I was like, you know, I bet you I had COVID in 2019. Because I went to the doctor twice, they tested me for flu, I was negative. They had no clue what was going on. Um, and so then I was like, ah, I bet you I had COVID. But the crazy thing about that is nobody else in my family got sick. You know, and supposedly this is like super contagious. So I think, I don't know for sure, but I think that that all lined up as like, you know, a couple of weeks after I pulled that ticks off, that tick off, then I got super sick, but was ignorant about tick anything. Yeah, and just never put pieced it together until you know in the last few months. Okay, so awesome. And so you've been on this journey about six months, and I know you uh, have done tons of research and tons of talking and communicating. Have you what? I mean, have you found any like any thing you want to share? Like like we're like kind of like your pearls of wisdom for you. <clears throat> you know. You know, you get online and, and if you do, you know, read about Lyme, it's like, you you probably don't have Lyme, but if you have it, you know, you can get rid of it in three weeks of antibiotics or something like that, you know. And it's, at least my experience, it's not, that's not how it works, you know. Maybe if you catch it right away, maybe you can do something, but, um, you know, that's a big maybe. Uh, I I think... Or at least for me, it's not like <clears throat> it's not like I got on antibiotics and bam, I was cured after a couple weeks or anything. 
but I was I paid attention and I just noticed little things healing, little things improving, and and just stuck with it. You know, I've actually been online a lot in some of these ALS groups and. You know, there. I, uh, I feel like a lot of people will kind of look into Lyme, but they won't get. They won't all of a sudden heal like they. The CDC says, "Oh, take take this for three weeks, and you're good, you're fine." And because that doesn't happen, I feel like they kind of give up uh, and and kind of start stop pursuing that. And mm. that more than anything, I just encourage them to, you know, like take a video. That was one thing I had a video from December thirtieth. I didn't realize how much I was slurring, <clears throat> how much my voice was weak. And I listened to that video and I'm just like, I mean, I was I was saying something like, uh, I'm trying to relax. And when I see that video and then I see what I'm doing now, it's, it's amazing. Wow. And it has not just been a straight up line. I mean, it's, it's up and down but it trends, you know, to the positive. Okay. And what would you say have been your main one to three, five things that have been like, have you noticed anything that's been helpful for you? Like that's made a difference that you go like, that you would, that you want to share at all? Well, for sure. I think ozone is a plus. I think that's been <clears throat> one of the things that has allowed my, my immune system to just kind of strengthen the the fascia treatments you know where you're i joke with my wife as i i gotta go get rolled out today you know but the it's amazing to me when when we first started working like on my forearms because i i do have you know things happening with my fingers but when i first started on my forearms you just pushing on certain muscles would hurt like unbelievably and and the way it is now, like I'll go home and I'll massage that thing for ten minutes, and it's it's. I'm almost disappointed if I can't find a painful spot. You know, I my blood veins are starting to show again in my forearm, where before I felt like it was just so swollen up that you couldn't see anything. So, in terms of constriction, in terms of like getting these infections or adhesions to heal. Like that fascia work has been amazing. Um, I take supplements like crazy. I mean, I used to never take anything like that. And there's definitely some supplements that I might be taking the rest of my life, you know, just because I feel like there's there's big benefits. But again, it's not like, oh, I, I take this for a week or four weeks. I mean, it's it's just something that I've noticed. If you just give it time and you're consistent, it... It, it really helps okay that's awesome any anything else any last words that you want to go like you know that you would that you would want the to biggest give, thing or? man is like what i've learned is is there's there's some great doctors out there and there's some that are just just you know i just to be real they're just kind of ignorant and they don't they don't know what they don't know and i would encourage everyone to just don't give your physical body authority to the doctor. Don't let that doctor have authority over your physical health. Do I mean it's all on you. Mm. You know, I've I've had family, I've had friends that, you know, basically told me I was crazy to, you know, pursue the way I'm pursuing this and uh, you know, I'm just thankful that I didn't give them authority or let them decide and uh, don't quit, you know. If you quit, then you're just going to go downhill. But, you know, pursue, pursue. And, uh, you know, I, I truly believe good things will happen if you just keep it in your mind that, that you're determined and you don't quit. Nice. Thank you so much. And one, one last thing. Like, so how old are you? 43. 43, okay. And you played college football, A&M, linebacker. Division one, college football, Texas A&M. Uh, I mean, I was a uh, I was a uh, run stopper. Okay. You know, they didn't put me in to go cover the pass. I'll put you that <laughs> way. And, uh, and you know, I, I got told you you got to be a little different. And I was a little different. I enjoyed running downhill and you know putting my head against three hundred fifty pounders and you know going to town. All right, buddy.
But thank you. Yeah, enjoyed right. it. Awesome, brother. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'll be back so, in about a week and a half.